Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Jennifer Marie. Today I'm going to teach you five editing tips for talking head videos to keep your audience engaged and boost viewer retention. We're going to be using Filmora 14 so these tips are beginner friendly. So the first editing tip is that you should add b-rolls to your videos and if you don't know what that means let me quickly explain. Imagine this is a YouTuber and he's doing a review video on different types of headsets. This would be his A-roll, and A-roll is your main footage, the primary shots where people are speaking or the main action is happening, and B-roll is supplemental footage. So if this guy is reviewing different headsets and is talking just like this for eight minutes, people will probably get bored. So it's important that he adds B-rolls. So B-roll is supplemental footage, and B-rolls can come from screen recordings, stock media, or even text-to-video clips. So within Filmora, you could click here on record, and you could record your PC screen if you were doing a tech video or something like that. You could also click here on stock media and click on library. And depending on the Filmora plan you have, type in headphones. You could use some of these stock videos. You just drag and drop it onto the video track over top of the A-roll. And then of course, just add a little clip and shorten it and position it wherever you like. You could also go to media, import media and import your own stock media footage. There are many different paid plans, but if you want to get free stock media footage, you can use a website like Pexels or Pixabay. And this is just a great way to break up monotonous footage and give the viewer something else to look at rather than just listening and watching you for eight minutes straight. The second editing tip is that you should make your visuals or background more interesting. And there are a few really cool ways you can do this using AI in Filmora without having to refilm your background. So let's say this is a video about a new meditation app. We have this A-roll footage of a woman meditating in her office. Even though this does not have a green screen behind it, we can use a tool within Filmora to remove this background and add our own. Now, I don't want to do this across the entire clip because I want to show that she's in the office, but once she closes her eyes, it's like she's transported into a different environment. So I'm actually going to split this clip and I just want to remove the background in this part. So you're going to click on the clip that you want to remove the background from. Then at the top here under the video tab, make sure AI tools is selected. And we're going to select AI portrait cutout. So there are different models. We have the advanced cutout mode or the quick cutout mode. We're just going to stick with the advanced cutout mode. It will be processing. And depending on the length of your clip, it could take longer or not. But that was really quick because it's just a short section. And you can see that the background has been erased. I'm also going to remove the background from this video here. And I want to show you some other cool effects that you can add before adding the background. So at the side here, you can click on human outline and add an outline to the talking head or to the main person in the video. You can change the color by clicking here and you could have it be the same color or you could even make a gradient border. You can also adjust the size. You can adjust the blur, the opacity. If you just want it to be a bit of a glow and also the edge thickness the edge feather, and if, you, and if you have access to some of the paid resources in Filmora, you can add a neon dash border, which is really cool, a flashing border, solid border, dash border. There are many different options to enhance the talking head or the main person in your video. For now, let's just remove the border and I want to show you how to add the background. So we can go up to stock media, and as I showed you before, you could search for any video that you want to add, or you can click on AI image. You can see I've already generated some relaxing beach with palm tree images, but let's try a different one, serene forest setting. And here you can select if you want it to look realistic, whatever style you want. I'm just going to go with realistic landscape and then click generate. So you can click on these images to preview them. And these are just some really nice images that you can add as a background. So what we're going to do is we need to make sure that we add a video track underneath this main video track, because right now, if I click and drag this image, it will be on top of the woman, which obviously we don't want. So bring your mouse down here underneath the audio track, then right click and select open track manager. So here you can add however many video tracks you want. And I'm going to select add one video track below track one and then OK. So now I can bring this background image underneath the woman. 
And of course, because it removed the desk, she's sort of floating in midair so we could reposition her wherever you want. And you could add multiple backgrounds as well. Another option is to use Filmora's new planar tracking feature. And this is a technique that allows you to track the movement of flat surfaces within a video. And you could add your logo, for example. So what I'm going to do is select the clip I want to use the planar tracking on. And then you can either choose auto or advanced. For this video, let's just click auto. So here we have this rectangle and I'm going to click and position it to the area that I want to track. So you click on these handles and I want it to sort of track the inside of this window because I want to replace it with the logo for my app. So once you position the handles, click here on start to begin the auto tracker and it will say that the tracking is in progress. So once it's finished, if you drag your playhead across, you can see that it has tracked this portion of the window throughout the entire clip and I want to replace that with the logo. So to do that, where it says link element, just click and I'm going to choose import from computer and I'm going to select my yoga app logo. I know right now it is in front of her, but don't worry about that. I'll show you how to fix that later on. But you can see that the logo is moving along with the window. And if you want to make adjustments to the image within this box, click on the image and where it says transform, we can uncheck the lock icon and I could adjust the scale a little bit even the opacity if I wanted. So now what I would do if I wanted the logo to be behind her is add a cutout of this woman on top of the logo. So if you remember previously, we removed the background from this same clip. So essentially you're duplicating the clip. So we have one without the background and one with the background. And I'm going to take the one without the background and move it over top of the logo with the tracking. So now when we press play, you can see that the logo goes behind the woman. And if you want to see what it looks like without the tracking box, just click on the clip that we tracked and click hide target box. The third video editing tip to enhance your videos is to add dynamic captions via speech to text. And this may be my favorite feature. So I've added a voiceover to the audio track and what I'm going to do is highlight the audio that I want to use the speech to text feature. Then right click on the clip and select speech to text. Of course, if this is a talking head video, you would right click on the video clip. So select the language of the audio to be transcribed and I'm going to select titles instead of SRT and then select add automatic active words and this will automatically match dynamic effects based on the audio rhythm. So then click generate. So as you can see, it's going to go through and add dynamic captions on both of these clips. So now it will say completed. I'm just going to click on the X and if we drag our playhead, you can see that it has added captions at the bottom, but we can adjust these by clicking on one of the captions and you can choose any of these templates. And as you can see, when we scroll the playhead, that the subtitles are synced with the audio and the subtitles are animated. So if you like one of the templates, click apply to all, and it may take some time to apply the full effect to the dynamic text clip if the number is large. So you can just try out a few of them and then once you're sure you like one, then click apply. And if you want to make any adjustments, you can click here on basic and adjust the color of the active words or the keywords. So these captions are a great way to enhance your videos because they are a pleasure to read. It makes the video more engaging, more dynamic, especially if English isn't someone's first language. And tip number four is that you can add the new AI sound effect feature to your videos to make them more engaging. So click here on audio and then click on AI sound effect. So what you're going to do is describe the sound effect you want to create. If you want some ideas, you can click on this icon here. For example, camping fire, digital glitch, ring bell, thunder, let's try waves and then click generate. So it will begin to process. You can see here that I have tried a few other sounds, pop sound, press play, a whoosh sound. And once it's finished generating, you can just click play to preview and to download them, 
Just click here to download the content. And now just click on this plus icon and that will add the sound effect to your audio track. You can also click here on settings before you generate the sound effect to adjust the sound effects duration if you just want it to be a short little sound or a longer one and then the amount of sound effects you want Filmora to generate. And the final video editing tip is that you can translate your video into multiple languages within Filmora and this is an absolutely amazing feature. So this feature will clone your voice to speak in the new language of your choice and it's incredible. So all you have to do is right click on the clip and then go to AI translation. So you're going to translate the voice and caption. So from here, choose your source language. So I have English, US, and then your target language. So let's say Spanish and then click translate. Okay, so now it has cloned my voice and you can see that my new voice in Spanish is on audio one. It's muted my original voice in the video and it's added subtitles at the top. So let's listen a mi canal Jennifer Marie donde te enseño diferentes formas de ganar dinero en línea como trabajador independiente en casa. Entonces muchos de mis videos más populares. So this is incredible. I speak Spanish and me speaking Spanish in this video is much better than my actual Spanish. So this is really incredible. And this is an amazing way for you to be able to share your videos with a much larger audience. So I encourage you guys to download Filmora 14 and try out some of these awesome new features. You can click on the link in the description below. Filmora is an affordable video editing software and beginner friendly. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below and I'll see you all in my next tutorial.